Hello, this is David G, and welcome to today's meditation. Let's find a comfortable place to sit or lie down. Remember, comfort is queen, so get as comfortable as possible. And now together, let's take a long, slow, deep breath in. And gently let that go. Let's do that one more time and allow our eyelids to gently float closed. Long, slow, deep breath in. And gently release it. And now continue to follow your breath in and out. Just watch it. Just witness it. Watch the breath as it moves into your body. Watch it go down deep. And watch it gently release back out. Notice your mind is beginning to calm. And witness your body as it relaxes, becoming easier more surrendered. Witness the breath. Witness the acceptance of the breath. And observe how your body releases the breath. Slowing you down. Relaxing you. Easing you. You are a human being. So just be. There's nowhere else to go. There's nothing else to do except to be here, right now, in this sacred, precious, present moment. And before we begin, let's ask ourselves a sacred question. What am I grateful for? What am I grateful for? And perhaps, Who am I grateful for? And as gratitude begins to build from inside of you, from your mind, and then into your heart, and then into your belly, what am I grateful for? am I grateful for? And just sit with this for a few moments. Take a long, slow, deep breath in of gratitude. Feel it fill you. And then flow it out back into the world. Let's invite an intention into our awareness. Something you'd like to see unfold today, this week, this month, this year. Something in your life. Something which you can influence, which you can impact. Allow that intention to crystallize. And now plant that intention like a seed in the fertile soil of your heart. Watch it settle in. See it nestle into that fertile soil. And now let's anchor it. Let's allow it to take root with a long, slow, deep breath in. Plant it, raise your chest up, let the universe gently kiss your soul and release it. We have total control over our outlook and no control over the actual outcome. And so notice that your spontaneous right view to allow this intention to unfold in your life has shifted. You've planted the seed 
Your mind wants this. Your heart desires this. And you've released it out into the universe. We'll leave it up to the universe to answer. We'll allow spirit to sort out all the details. And continue to watch your breath. You are a human being. So in this moment, just be. Just allow. Just accept. Allow your best version to begin to unfold. Allow your highest truth to begin to flow. And just keep watching your breath as your essence merges with the divine. In the silent stillness of your heart, all intentions are born. All desires begin their journey. All manifestations sprout from that gentle seed. And it is your passion that will continue to flow and fuel and nourish the seeds you've planted. We all have regrets. We all have grievances over actions we might have taken, words we could have said, situations where we could have shown up a little differently, actions that could have been a little more mindful rather than mindless. This is the human condition. And whether you're sad over this thing that never happened or did right now, Right here, in this sacred, precious, present moment, you can place a stake in the ground and make a commitment to lean harder in the direction of your dream. Knowing you are whole and perfect and pure should give you the courage, the strength, the confidence to say yes to a decision that's been weighing on your mind. Perhaps you've been holding back on this decision out of fear of making another mistake, out of concern that it's not the right time, or perhaps it's simply overwhelm too many choices and you're not sure how to prioritize them. But let's drift back to that intention that we planted. Let's clarify it in our mind's eye. Let's drift to our heart, which never lies. And let's revisit that seed, that intention that will give you the new beginning, that will give you another chance, that will help you navigate your fears, your second guessing, your regrets and your excuses. The seed is planted, but you have resisted, allowing your heart to merge with the divine. And so let's surrender one more time, more deeply to the universe. Let's trust. Right now. Your throat chakra, the Vashuddha, chakra is your permission center and perhaps this is closed perhaps you've been denying yourself permission to take that step to do that thing to have the difficult exchange to lean hard in the direction of your dream and so we'll use the mantra that expands the power of the throat chakra the vibration is hum Hum. And we use the full mantra. Om. Hum. Ritam. Om. Hum. Ritam. Om is the universe.
universal vibration. Hum is the vibration of your permission center. And Ritam brings you in rhythm with the universe. If you've been holding back, if you've been walking on eggshells, if you've been biting your tongue or clenching your jaw, chanting this mantra will turn all the lights green, will open a special space in the universe for you to step in and own your impact. Live the dream. Be the one you want to be. Om Ham Ritam. Say it out loud with me. Om Ham Ritam. And now whisper it. Om Ham Ritam. And now begin to repeat it silently. As you silently repeat the mantra, it may get louder or fainter, faster or slower. It may become jumbled or distorted. You may drift away to thoughts or sounds or physical sensations. But at a certain point, you'll realize you're no longer repeating Om Ham Ritam. And when you realize that, just ever so gently drift back to the mantra. I'll watch the time, and when you hear my voice, just sit gently with your eyes closed. So let's begin.
ओम हम रितम Sit gently with your eyes closed and let the stillness and silence settle in. At the cellular level, at the spiritual level, at the divine level, you have embraced the seed you've planted. You've gained clarity on your mission. Your heart is filled with courage, confidence, and clarity. And all you need to do is lean, step, and own. Lean into the direction of your dream. Step into your power. and own your impact but the seed is planted all you need to do is keep opening your heart and let's celebrate that you've put the wheels in motion by chanting om the hymn of the universe take a long slow deep breath in and gently let that go Let's do that one more time. Long, slow, deep breath in. And gently release it. And now chant on with me. Long, slow, deep breath in. Bhagavad Gita chapter 2 verse 48 says Yoga sta kuru karmani establish yourself in the present moment and then perform action and so we've taken the first step we've settled into our being the next step is to lean in the direction of our dreams the next step to step into our power and the final step to own your impact as you move throughout the day and you find yourself second guessing stuck regretting allowing those old constrictions to bind you in the present silently whisper to yourself Hum ritam and that will spark your confidence your courage your conviction and your laser focus to manifest your dream from the sweet spot of the universe this is David G what a joy to meditate with you keep meditating and in the meantime i'll see you in the gap